Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. I wanted to uh, share some information with you uh, about flea spray. Now, uh, several years ago, uh, our other dog, now he, he passed away a couple of years ago, but uh, this was our uh, miniature poodle, our first miniature silver poodle, and he actually lived to be 17 years old, but when he was about five years old, I used some of that stuff you put in between their shoulder blades and right at the base of their tail one day. And it's the first time I had tried it. And I actually got it from the vet. And uh, about 20 minutes later, he started panting, kind of walking around in circles and just really acting crazy. And I thought, oh my goodness, what in the world is happening? So I immediately called the vet and he said, to uh, put him in the bathtub and uh, wash him really good and just let the water keep running and running in those spots where I had, had put that uh, flea stuff on him. And so I did that and just you know let it run for maybe 20 minutes or so. And even after I took him out of the bathtub, he still wasn't quite acting right, but he was better. But oh man, after that, I thought, oh, I am never using any of that stuff again and I didn't. So then I started using this um, Hearts Ultra Guard Plus and I've really used this for any number of years now and uh, of course now we've got three poodles and they're all rescued poodles but uh, Peppy we've had for I don't know maybe 10 years and the other two we rescued uh, got from Dreamweavers last August. So I knew this year when it got to be flea season, which in South Carolina, probably, well, this past winter, of course, we had a lot of warm weather, so we even have fleas in the winter time here when we have a warm winter. And part of the problem is the squirrels. We have a lot of squirrels in the trees, and of course, squirrels have fleas too, so the only thing you can do is really just treat your dogs. Treating the yard is just pointless because there are so many squirrels. But um, anyway, uh, so I started reading stuff on the internet about this very one. And uh, some dogs had had a similar reaction that Graybo had to the stuff you put between the shoulders. And some of them said, well, they had been using it a while, and then their dog had a reaction. So it really started scaring me, and I thought, well, I need to try something natural. And uh, so, so I started looking, and my husband started looking, and he found one and read all the reviews on it on Amazon, and so we decided to try it. Now, this was in, um, I guess, around the 1st of June, so we were right at the peak of flea season, and um, I had not used any of this, you know, in a week or so, and all three dogs had had their baths, and sure enough, uh, one of the dogs had a couple of fleas on him. And so I thought, well, we're going to have to do something like now, you know, because, I mean, if you just let that kind of thing go, you'll end up with, with fleas in your home. So anyway, this is what we came up with. I want to show you this so you can see it real good. Vet, vets plus best. And down here it says flea and tick home spray, but it also tells you that you can use it on the pets. Now. Uh, what this is, is uh, it's a peppermint oil and uh, clove oil extract and sodium laurel sulfate, which is sort of a foaming agent. And then the rest of it is just water. So this is 32 ounces. And we got it from Amazon and the whole bill, including the shipping, wasn't but $18.17. So by the time I had bought a couple of these, which, which really, uh, to, to keep the dogs free of fleas, I had to always get one a month and most of the time two a month of this. So this is like $7.22 $7 cents at Walmart. If you're buying, you know, two a month, you're, you're talking, you know, right at $15 including the tax, or really 16 including the tax. So anyway, we got this, it's 32 ounces, and we I've only sprayed them one time. I promise you, one time, okay? 
not a flea, nobody scratching. It just is amazing. Plus, it smells really good. And so, anyway, uh, the reason I'm doing the video is because we had to take uh, Peppy to the vet for his yearly shots. Uh, let's see, it was Thursday. Today is Monday. And so, of course, they always say, what are you doing for flea control? And I usually tell them we're doing the heart's mount. Is that working for you? Yeah, it works okay, you know, and that kind of thing. So anyway, this time when they said, what are you using? I told them about this. And the vet just stopped what he was doing. The two, his two little tech girls stopped and they started, I said, we haven't had a flea since I used this and I've got three dogs and they're all, you know, in, in the house dogs. They, they don't stay outside, they stay inside but go out, you know, to use the, the uh, to take care of their business. And so anyway, they were asking me about it and I, I said, you know, I thought that we weren't having as many fleas this year because we had so much rain. And Dr. Harris said, no, when it rains, you have a lot more fleas because you got a lot more moisture. So I thought, well, could this really be working that well? And anyway, he seemed to think it was and said, you know, whatever you're doing, this, just keep doing it. So here's my point on this. I sprayed them one time, once. Now, I sprayed them really good, and when you spray them, you want to make sure that the uh, stuff gets, you know, down to the skin, and it kind of gets um, foamy would be the word. But anyway, I sprayed them all over, and uh, then you, when it, when it gets dry, it makes their fur kind of stiff, and you, you're supposed to brush them out then. And, and Listen, it makes your house smell wonderful, okay? I mean, it's cloves and peppermint. What can smell bad about that, right? And it's almost like a room deodorizer when you first spray them. And also, you can spray their beds and everything. Now, I don't really think we have any fleas in the house, but apparently, if you did, you could also spray this like on your rugs or whatever. But not a flea. I'm, I'm not one flea and three dogs that go out in probably five times a day or more. And so I'm very, very happy with it. Now, I don't think you can use this on cats. I'm not really sure though. Let's see, it doesn't really, yeah, it says uh, you can use on dogs and cats 12 weeks and, and older. If I had a cat, I, I really wouldn't use this on a cat. I, you know, they're always licking their fur and everything. But for the dogs, it works fantastic and it also makes your house really smell good. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this video up on YouTube, of course, and then I'm gonna put it on my website on uh, products I recommend. But here's the thing, right down below, I'm gonna put the, the link to my website where I'm gonna show this, and right under the video, I'm gonna have the link to uh, Amazon, and you can order this directly by just clicking on there, it will, uh, you know, go right straight to the product. You don't have to go through all that with Amazon. The link will just be right there. And you'll see it right under the video. So you just click on that. It'll take you right to Amazon for this exact product. Now, I'm trying to think how long it was. I think we ordered it. And I think it might have taken it about five to four days, five days. I can't remember now. But it was just a few days and, you know, it came. Now, I was expecting something else in the mail. And so I thought that's what it was. My husband had set it on the table and I just didn't open it right away. And I'm, I'm anxiously waiting for it, you know, because I know I've already gotten two fleas off one of the dogs. And so uh, then I realized that it, this had come already that quick. So anyway, I sprayed them and, uh, you know, they didn't do all that running around and everything like they do when I spray the other, other uh, flea stuff. Now, you don't want to get it in their eyes or in their genital area because I think it probably would burn their nose and eyes. So what I did is just hold their, hold my hand in front of them, just sprayed some on the top of their head and then just hold it kind of over them and just get a mist all the way over their back and everything and each one of their legs. And then what you do is just rub it in. It'll kind of foam up a little bit, wait till it gets dry, brush them out. They're good for however long, I don't know. I mean. I sprayed them one time and this is, let's see, today is July 29th and I sprayed them around the 1st of June and they all three had a bath since then and trimmed. We still have no fleas, so, uh, and I don't want to encourage any fleas to come, but it, it's just a mystery to me 
that we could have gone, we, we've never ever gone this long without seeing a flea on somebody, really. And uh, now this kind says that it kills the eggs too. You do have to respray them every seven days with this for it to be effective. And, but here's the thing, if you're spraying this and they never get a flea, you're not gonna have flea eggs either, really. You, you don't even have any need to put the poison on them to kill the growth hormone or whatever it is they use to kill the flea eggs if they never get a flea. And it does say on here that it repels fleas, flies, and mosquitoes. And I happen to know that it also repels gnats. So uh, you know how gnats will get around dogs' eyes and they're back in when they're outside? If you're in the south, that's what happens. And you just never see a gnat even around any one of the three dogs. So I could sell this stuff, okay? I mean, it is that good. And uh, I really thought that maybe we just didn't have the fleas this year because we'd had so much rain, but the vet certainly uh, cleared that up that when you have a real rainy season, you have more fleas. So anyway, that's my little spill on that. I hope you will try this. Uh, it smells great, it really does. Now, this doesn't smell bad, but I know it's poison, okay? And this is an all natural ingredient uh, with the uh, peppermint oil and the clove oil, and it just smells great, okay? And the dogs don't seem to mind it at all. All right, so I will put this on my website, and all you have to do on YouTube is just go down, it'll be highlighted in blue, just click on that. It'll go straight to that page on my website, and right under the video, I'm gonna have the Amazon link. All you have to do is click on it and you can order it right straight from Amazon. And I'd say anywhere in this country, you'll probably have it in three or four days. And I know right now, uh, it's almost August and we're just absolutely in the height of flea season, at least in the South anyway. All right, I hope y'all will try this and I hope it'll work out. Again, I probably wouldn't use it on a cat, but it works great on the dogs. All right, see you next time.